Hi everybody, I'm going to be talking today about drawing pictures uh, specifically out of your imagination from scratch. I'm going to try to give you the order by which to do this, beginning with uh, the initial idea, then going over uh, the horizon line um, and the vanishing point and perspective and that sort of thing as well, as well as um, filling the uh, drawing and the composition so it works. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years. Uh, although I'm going to be talking about all these things, I'm probably going to break this video up into three or four different parts, depending on the length, so it doesn't, I don't overstate, uh, and so that it doesn't go for too long. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I have a Patreon uh, patron, Anastasia, who um, asked me to help her out on her drawing. She wasn't quite sure exactly if the perspective is working the way she wanted to, if the horizon line is working, if she's breaking up the spaces the way she uh, ought. And uh, so she had a few questions about the drawing in itself. I'm going to address all these questions for her and in so doing also talk about creating a picture uh, from your imagination. Okay, so one of the things uh, that concerned her was um, this line right here. That was what she considers her horizon line, and I agree. I would believe that that is her horizon line right here. Now, um, she was wondering if it was too low at first. She was concerned about the horizon line being too low, and I um, I think it's it's fine. I think it's better to have the horizon line here or even a little bit higher here if you really want to. It's not okay to have it here. We, we as people just want to put the horizon line right in the middle. That is actually not, a, not as interesting. It splits the drawing in half, makes it symmetrical, and makes it less interesting to put it farther down. And breaking up these two spaces makes it far more dynamic. A question that often comes up when we are trying to create something out of our imagination is whether or not we should apply the perspective first. Uh, I do not think so. I think that you ought to keep perspective and horizon line and all that stuff in mind, but when you are approaching a drawing from scratch, the first thing you want to do is break up the space of your, of your drawing. Put the shapes where you want them to and then figure out the perspective from that point on after the case. However, Anastasia specifically had concerns regarding um, the fact that she can't picture uh, whether or not the shapes are below or above the horizon line. It's very difficult for her at first and this really does come with practice and having done enough perspective to start um, to just start getting uh, used to it and understand how the perspective works. At first, you're not going to uh, be able to see these things, these picture these things in space. But after pr enough practice, you're start you're going to start getting the eye, a practiced eye at seeing what ought to be. So um, I would not concern myself specifically on trying to make everything. Uh, fit in the perspective you want at first. Once you put in the horizon line, once you start putting in vanishing points, then um, you fix your drawing afterwards. So uh, you just consider this a rough pass and then when you put in the horizon line and the vanishing points, that's when you start thinking about the solidity. But at first, when you're creating a picture, all you should think about is exactly what this is. Should this play thing be here? Should this be here? Should this be here? Well, let me, without even putting a horizon line in at all, let's take a look about, let's, let's, let's um, start putting in shapes. Um, so what I'm going to do is reduce this a little bit down. Okay, and um, let's take this drawing and just add more shapes. I think, um, if anything, um, I'm going to take my advice here, my own advice, and I'm going to add shapes. 
Are they in perspective? I don't know. I'm just going to fill in, add more to the composition. Just make it feel fuller. I wanted to add this. There's the reason why I'm, I'm putting a shape shapes here. Whatever this could be, this could be a hill. This could be a probably a bush. Um, the reason I'm adding stuff here is because this shape here, um, kind of, and this is kind of like the fulcrum. Let's see it this way. It it just feels like. Um, if we if we if we were to um, create a like a seesaw or a balance, uh, we because we 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 kind of want this kind of a thing happening. We want to balance the page, so it feels like there's this sh giant shape here. Let's let's balance it with some shapes here. I'm also at, trying to add a little bit more atmosphere or or, or reality to this make it more feel like nature there's more trees maybe there's there's mountains in the back um, give it some 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 cloud shapes here they don't have to be round they could be any shape so already uh, there's no perspective all i'm doing is just taking these shapes as if they were flat shapes and i'm just adding to the picture so here's the frame of the picture here so so when you first start a drawing um at this point perspective isn't an issue uh all you want to do is make sure that uh your 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 shapes are um interesting uh, in and of themselves uh, on the picture plane on the picture you're just breaking up the space you're just breaking up the page into shapes okay so that's all I'm going to be talking about this time um, and next time I'm going to be uh, talking about putting in the horizon line and, and how it works if you found this helpful um, I do have a patreon page you could ask me questions uh, and uh, send me uh, your work, and then I could do a video over your work as well. I, I'd appreciate your support. Uh, anybody who is a patron gets the videos first. I go out of my way to do as much as I can for my patrons, and it also helps me uh, produce more videos and helps me buy the equipment to help you out more, uh, etc. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.